Kevin O'Brien Chang, first of all, I want to thank you for coming and being with us today. I see that you're celebrating the 50th anniversary of Fontana Pharmacy. Tell me about the company, but more importantly, tell us what's going to happen in the coming 50 years. Okay, thanks for having me. Well, Fontana Pharmacy was started by my parents, Angela and Bobby Chang, in 1968, our first branch, Mandeville. In 94, we moved to Montego Bay, 2007 to Savlamar, 2013 February to Kingston, 2013 November to Ocherios. So, five branches. We've been around 50 years, and we also have a website, FontanaPharmacy.com, over 15,000 items. Um, we ship free worldwide, and all the Jamaicans abroad, you can shop online at Fontana Pharmacy, get it delivered to your loved ones in Jamaica, or if you need anything from Jamaica, we deliver it to you. Well, let me get that straight. I can order my New York prescription from my favorite pharmacy in Jamaica and get it delivered back to New York? Not prescriptions, because there are laws about that. But um, all that stuff, we have lots of souvenirs, um, we have beauty items, and well, Fontana have a very broad variety of stuff. And if you go online, over 15,000 items, you can browse and see what you need, and we can ship it to you. That's great to hear, great to know. And lots of Jamaican stuff, you know, that stuff you need from home? Yeah, yeah. We got it for you. That's great to hear. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, the subject of crime in Jamaica. And I want to ask you, you've given a lot of thought and written widely on the subject. What do you see as some of the positive steps, specific kinds of initiatives that could be taken to help uh, stem the rising tide of crime in Jamaica? If you ask me, this is the first thing I would use. Five years ago, maybe 20% of the Jamaicans and the world had smartphones, and probably 80% do. Biggest change we've seen, the government should be using this tool to engage the public. Mr. Andrew Holden said, our Prime Minister, Prime Minister once said, information is probably the big greatest tool in helping to fight crime. We want you to, to the public, you're saying, give the police all the information you know. Well, we can only give information if we have information to give. And the FBI in the U.S. has the most wanted app, where they give all the wanted people. Um, you can go search for your area, find out where the wanted men. Why can't something like that be done in Jamaica? I mean, you can even, I would say, contact the FBI guys and ask them for their advice. Something that can be done and should be done. I, I say smart crime fighting, brains, not brutality. There are certain tough measures we have to take, but let's start with the easy ones that the public will buy in. If you go on Facebook nowadays or social media, you see a lot of fake news floating around, people passing it around in Jamaica because they want to help in the crime fight. But where is the official, reliable real information we're not getting it and that's where the first thing i would do if i was a government engage the public via the smartphones that everybody is on constantly during the day if you had these conversations with people in the public sector in the government arenas what has been the response to this recommendation they like the idea but in you know what they say the the, the execution is everything and uh, they, they have a smart uh, stay alert app which does a little bit of it but maybe five percent of what it could be doing and if uh, uh, the minister who's fighting hard he's doing his best but I would get somebody find a good person to focus on this aspect ramping up the stay alert getting up a, a real most wanted app like the FBI where you can send in the pictures you see a picture of most wanted guys right on your phone see somebody looks like it click I saw this guy in this area Police gets, all that, gets a lot more information. And the way I look at it, you're going to have, if you have maybe one and a half million smartphones in Jamaica, or a million, let's say a million, two million eyeballs working for you. Everybody comes a CSI, invest, you know, everybody loves love those shows, right? Crime scene investigation. All the people who like them can do it in real life. They can start using their phones and helping the police. You clearly have given this subject careful thought and have leadership ideas in this arena. What else is happening in the private sector that you are aware of that is moving in the same direction you're suggesting? Well, I'm from Manchester, one of our 14 parishes, and I'm the, the chairman of the police, um, business and police community partnership. And we are helping the police. We're going to Already the Chamber of Commerce in Mandeville helps police to keep cars going if this needs small items, batteries, tires. We're going to help with police in small items in the station like, you know, air conditions, doors that are broken. And 
we are asking the police to give us a Facebook page with all the latest information that's happening. The, the, the crimes happen, suspects, the top 10. I, I give, and they, they said, yes, they can do it. And I'm hoping that if it's done in, Man in Manchester, it can be done everywhere else. We're hoping to set a template in Manchester that the other parishes can copy. We thank you so very much for your specific and very helpful recommendations. Well, I'm a Jamaican. I want to say for Jamaica. I mean, I love my country. I'm, I have three young children and it's a wonderful country. I mean, I live here, but crime is a dark cloud and we need to clear this up and not only will we get growth going, but um, hey, the first job of a government is to keep its people safe. This present government is trying its best, doing a good job in some areas, but crime it need to get, needs to get it under control. And it can be done. As I say, the specifics, things that are not being done now can easily be done. But um, as I say, my one recommendation to Mr. Montagu, Mr. Hone is get a tech person in charge the, of the areas using a smartphone, the, the most wanted app. Put somebody in charge who can get it done the 100%, not the 5% where it's being done now.